So, week two now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I guess it's time for my hometown. I actually have two problems with that. First, I have lived in several places throughout my life, and so I don't really know which one I call my hometown. And second, where I live now is actually pretty far away from actual um, civilization at all. So I feel really bad, but I think I'm just going to have to resort to pictures with narration. Sorry, but that's just how it's going to have to be. Okay, so I have lived in the greater Seattle area for my entire life. I was born in the city, lived in the city, lived around the city, south of the city, east of the city. It'd be pretty hard to live west of the city because I'd be in the middle of the sound. Mm. Now I realized I have no idea how much knowledge of the um, Seattle metropolitan area geography you have, so by the sound, I mean Puget Sound, which is a large body of water. Anyway, I'm going to give you sort of a photo and narration tour of the Seattle area. Why am I freaking out with my hands? I don't know, but roll tape. Okay, so I imagine that when most of you think of Seattle, you probably think of this. Everybody knows this space needle. It's the only thing from Seattle more famous than Starbucks. That's probably not really fair though. I actually really like the space needle. It, I mean, the food's okay in the restaurant that rotates around, but the view is amazing. You might also recognize this, the Pike Place Market. It's actually really, really fun to hang around, although it's always flooded with tourists. So that's the Seattle you might actually have heard of. But, you know, you always see that same view of Seattle in pictures, and that really bothers me, because that's not really what Seattle looks like from most places. Um, the city, a lot of the time, looks like this. Okay, so now I really just want to show you guys, like, some really cool things about Seattle that you may or may not know about, depending on if you visited. Okay, first off, this is the famous Fremont Troll. It's actually under the Fremont Bridge, so it's the troll under the bridge. Um, note that it's crushing a Volkswagen bug, which is life-size, so it's huge. In, I believe, the late 1800s, um, a large part of Seattle burned down, and they built the new city on top of it, and so there's this whole underground city under there, and you can take tours, and it's really cool. You walk underneath the sidewalk and everything. This is the Seattle Center, a big, like, theme park slash festival area that's all surrounding the Space Needle. It's like a whole park. It is also home to the EMP Experience Music Project, which is one of the most bizarre looking buildings. Pioneer Square is the really old part of Seattle that was the part that burned down. It looks very beautiful by day and turns into a scary club scene by night. This is a crappy picture of Benaroya Hall where I was recently to see the Seattle Symphony on New Year's. In keeping with the showing of all the public libraries, which are all awesome, this is the Seattle Public Library, which I think is probably one of the most amazing buildings ever. And it's a freaking gigantic library, which I am in favor of. And finally, this is one of the Seattle waterfront streetcars, which one time on a field trip in 8th grade, I almost got run over by in our bus. And that, Nerdfighters, is Seattle. Or at least as much of it as I felt like talking about right now. I mean, Seattle is a giant city with a million crazy things going on all the time. Want to know my secret? I've done this entire video in my pajamas. And now that you have that so important information, have a great Sunday and a great start of the week, and don't forget to be awesome.